So I'm here at the contract prototype manufacturing facility used by Volta Trucks for the creation of the first prototypes of their groundbreaking uh, Volta Zero truck. I'm going to be talking to Duncan Forrester, uh, the communications manager, um, about how it's put together and all the different stages and why this truck is so special. Delighted to welcome you to Coventry to our contract prototype build facility here. Uh, the vehicle we have behind us here is the 15th road going design verification prototype that we've built out of 25 vehicles. Volta Trucks was born um, at, at around 2016 when our founder realised that at the launch of the Tesla Model 3, when hundreds of thousands of orders were taken, that there was very little going on in the commercial vehicle world. Simultaneously, he realised that air quality issues were at their worst in city centres and also there were very, very significant health and safety issues with trucks operating on the streets of city centres. Transport for London's own statistics will tell us that 4% of road miles in London are undertaken by trucks and yet 26% of pedestrian fatalities and 78% of cyclist fatalities are attributable to trucks and that was unacceptable and it needed to change. By completely redesigning the truck without any of the legacy designs of the past, we could create a truck that was completely repackaged with an, a very compact electric powertrain at the rear, removing the need for the internal combustion engine at the front. And that means that our driver sits much, much lower at 1.8 meters of eye height so therefore much more aware of the vulnerable road users that are operating around the vehicle. So here we are at the very start and at the very end of the build process. We have a cell build here when we're building our design verification prototypes rather than a more conventional line build but that's the best way of doing the very first build of a vehicle because you can really understand how everything goes together and if you have a supply chain issue or something doesn't quite work you don't have to stop the production line. So what you have here is a relatively conventional ladder frame chassis um, that's designed on purpose for us. The main strengths of this chassis are both in its means of protecting the batteries in the centre of the vehicle and also the very low front end of the chassis and that's what accommodates our low driving position for the driver once the cab is put onto the vehicle. So in the building up of the chassis, we go from a ladder frame, we then put the Meritor e-axle into the truck the Meritor e-axle is an integral part of the packaging of the vehicle. It combines the electric motor, the transmission and the axle all into one very compact unit and that really facilitates a lot of the packaging for the electrification as we move forwards in the truck. Ignore the standard 12 volt batteries for a minute because the really interesting part of an electric vehicle is the high voltage system. And what you see in the middle, this large uh, silver piece, is a triple pack of Proterra supplied batteries. Each of these batteries is 75 kilowatt hours of power and we got three batteries in here to deliver us our long range vehicle, which is 225 kilowatt hours of power. The Proterra battery in the vehicle works at an optimum at 40 degrees C. So our challenge to the engineers is how you keep that battery in either cold climates or warm climates at that optimum operating temperature. So we have an incredibly complex um, heat, heating and cooling system that actually maintains that uh, optimum temperature and while at the same time provides heat into the cabin or cooling into the cabin as well. What we're looking at here is the HVAC system, the heating and air conditioning system. This would normally sit on the roof of the cab, but the hot air system is actually supplied predominantly from the, uh, the battery heating that we talked about earlier. And in this way, having it mounted on the top of the cab, we can keep the cab environment as pleasant and as uh, warm or cold as the driver needs it. So here we've got the final built-up cab all ready to go onto a vehicle. As you can see here we've got the central driving position which is so integral to the overall design of the vehicle. If you think about it the type of driver that's going to be using the vehicle is going to be doing drops of 30-40 drops per day 
With a central driving position, you always get out onto the pavement rather than getting out onto the busy traffic. And here you also see the sliding doors of the vehicle, again, very integral to the safety of the vehicle. With swing doors, a door swings out potentially into the pathway of a cyclist. With sliding doors, we have the safest possible system of using a vehicle on city centre streets. You also see here the full 220 degrees of visibility that our driver will have, and that is a fundamental part of the safety of the vehicle. What we're doing is reducing blind spots on the vehicle for the driver, making sure they can have that visual connection with those vulnerable road users operating around the vehicle. So what you can see here are the camera binnacles. Uh, we use a full 360 degree camera system on the vehicle to minimize and eliminate blind spots. So those cameras will be looking down the side of the truck and then that is relaying to two screens within the cab as well as a rear view mirror type of system that would give a full 360 bird's eye view of everything going on around the truck. Key benefit of electric vehicles is the minimizing of service and maintenance on a vehicle. In approximate numbers, a electric vehicle has got 90% less moving parts than a normal internal combustion vehicle, and that of course reduces cost for the owner. What we've, so what we've also done is to make sure that any maintenance that needs doing is as easy to access as it possibly can. And what you see here in the cab is what's called electrical city, and that is all of the electrical control units in the vehicle. So if anybody needs to access anything, it's all very easy and close to hand. And that brings us to the finished vehicle. This is vehicle number 15 of 25 that we're building. These vehicles, these first design verification prototype vehicles, are going to be used by our engineering teams um, to really validate all of the processes, but then to start doing the extensive and rigorous testing regime that we need to do with the vehicle to make sure that by the time we get to production, we're delivering the highest quality vehicles. So that's the Volta Zero could be a really groundbreaking vehicle that would change last mile transportation uh, using heavy trucks in many city centres around the world. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel.